Hey guys, and welcome back to Weird Catholic Things. Hannah and Kevin here for the season finale. Now, Kevin, I brought you something really cool for I today. I know, I see this pinata <laughs> hanging between us, and it's this nice little donkey pinata. That's awesome. <laughs> but you know, so, this is actually a weird Catholic thing. Did this is what that? we're talking about today? This is what we're talking about. So how, I had no idea that pinatas had anything to do with Catholicism. They do, but before we get into that, we're going to talk a little bit about the history of the piñata. Okay. So they have their roots back in Asian and um, Latin American culture, and okay. they were used, um, they were kind of, used, they used to be like a clay pot. They, just, they didn't have like this frilly texture that we hear, have, see here before you today. But here's what's cool. So when Catholic missionaries came um, and they encountered these piñatas, they actually saw them as a cool teaching tool. Okay. Wow. Let me so, tell you more about that. Yeah, I mean, so it's basically, I mean, that's a, that's a, that's a leap, but I'm willing to go there. So we had clay pots, and they were already breaking these things, uh, it, you know, and, and for different purposes, and then the Catholic missionaries were like, well, hey, we can teach you something about the faith through this. Something. Yes. Okay, I love that, that evangelistic <laughs> attitude, like we can find any way to teach you the gospel. Right? Okay, so tell me how, how smashing open a, a clay jar teaches me something about the gospel. Okay, so our pinata friend here today... Um, he's not a friend. Does he have a name? Here, he doesn't have a name, but for today's purposes, we'll call <laughs> him. I don't really want to name him. If if we're gonna, are we gonna? Oh yes. Are we gonna he who him? shall not be we named. We don't want to name him. That's you know. Exists here today. Too personal. Originally, they were not all fluffy and multicolored like he is. They were actually shaped like a star, and it was a seven-pointed star, and they were used to represent the seven deadly sins. Okay. Right. So yeah. that's that was the whole shape behind it all. And then inside, it was filled with good things. So similar to how we fill it with candy today, it was filled with like, you know, different candies or fruits or something that was that would okay. bring you joy. Just to represent if you're conquering these sins, oh. it'll bring more joy to your life. That I was like, why is there good stuff inside the sins? But you, you break <laughs> open the pinata, so you gotta get past the seven deadly sins yes. to experience the joy. Uh, exactly. That Christ wants to give us. Okay, okay. Exactly. So then, where does the where does the bat come in? Oh, the it. bat where? or a stick. Today's today's purpose is we're using a bat, but this is here to represent virtue and so how virtue can help us to overcome these sins okay. to get to the goodness inside. I like that. Okay, yeah. so we need to establish virtues. We need to allow ourselves to be transformed, overcome these deadly sins, and then we can get to the goodness that that yes. God offers us. Exactly. Wow. Okay. That's, right. that's good. That so, is what the history of the pinata points you've, you've to. You've convinced me that pinatas are, are a weird Catholic thing. That's awesome. Even like the hanging above your head is supposed to like remind you to look towards heaven. So mm. we like associate heaven as like being up above, like looking toward the upwardness of the pinata. It's supposed to remind us to look to heaven. Wow. So Pretty much profound. meaning yeah. and symbolism in That's it. That's awesome. Okay, so I've got a bat. You ready uh, for this? Do I get to, yeah. Just All right. Take a, take a step back. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good job, Kevin. <laughs> it was successful. There we go. We Here. got we got the candy of everlasting life. Here have we a go. Lollipop. Beautiful. I'll have a jawbreaker. There we go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed tuning in to weird Catholic things this semester, or maybe not so weird Catholic. Yeah, things, right? some like, maybe that seem weird, but then we understand why they happen, and we realize that it's just. A, a beautiful uniqueness of our Catholic faith that's so rich and there's so much to continue learning, continue diving deeper, so much meaning to unpack. So yeah, thank you for, for joining us. Uh, Hannah and I will be back, I'm sure, with more of these in the future. There's we, so much we more. We had a lot of fun doing it for you guys. So <laughs> until next time. Take care and God bless.